I can't really describe how I come up with it or where it comes from. All I know is that it happens at night and in my dreams. All the weird shit just swimming inside my head, I just see it and put it into the music. For some reason, I'm somehow really connected to the night. That's why I only make music when it's dark out. That's when Night Lavelle comes out. I drive around a lot. I like to take in what's going on and stuff. Growing up here, the city felt really disconnected. No one was really fucking with each other, and there was always this thing about how no one in Ottawa can really do anything. But now people are kind of seeing past that. People are just kind of picking up mics and doing their own shit. Everyone's more open to the fact that it doesn't really matter where you're from, and everyone could just make music. Whether you're from Ottawa or not, I feel like when I talk about it, someone in the same situation feels the same type of thing, you know? We're just the underdogs. Ottawa's different just because like everything is more like extreme. So like our winters are like winters, like they're dark winters. So I feel like just Ottawa in general kind of shaped my music. Cause, um, and winter especially just from how like dark and isolated like it gets here because we're in a valley and shit so I feel like not just Nepean but Ottawa shaped my music the most I feel like the city is just changing like now everyone's thinking that way like no one like there's not that thing where it's like oh I live in Ottawa but I'm about to move to Toronto for music like no one thinks that way anymore and it, that that alone shows the city's changing because everyone has a different mindset so Man, he's just unique, dog. He's unlike anyone he's else in the game he's right now, dog. And that's all that matters. Yeah, that's he's doing up. something different. He's real. Dog. He's Straight real. out of a oh, fucking man. Ottawa, Turns bro. Turns that shit up. Everyone asks me why I still live here, but there's really no reason for me to move. All I need is the internet. If I wanted to go to LA or Toronto or New York for a bit, I could go, but I can't really change my home. I really don't want to change that for myself. This is the place where I'd come to write, especially when I first started writing and stuff. And like when I used to live really close to here and stuff, I'd come out here to write because I feel like it visually represents my mind, like the way this place looks. I feel like the places you'll find me the most are the places that I used to go to when I was growing up, around my old neighborhood. I'll always go to the same pizza spot where my mom used to send me, the same corner stores, all these landmarks for the West End. I spent most of my time around these places when I started making music. So this is where Night Lavelle was born. I started off making beats. I used to just spend hours and hours as a kid producing, but I wanted to do more. I always wanted to be that type of person who jumps around on stage and had that type of crowd control, and I figured the only way to do that was to add vocals. A few years ago, SoundCloud was the main thing kids used to get their music out there, and even up until now. I uploaded a couple songs that did okay, but the turning point was when I dropped my first album. From there, I could tell that people on the internet were catching on. But then when Ottawa started paying attention, it started to feel way more real. Once the internet was behind me, then my city could follow suit.
This is my old house, and this is pretty much where Knight Lavelle was born. Dang, everything's renovated. Wow. Dang. This was my room. This is, I guess it's like the... Go ahead and look in. Okay. Turn it on. Okay. It is now my son's Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I just took that in. So, this is her son's room now, but this used to be my room. I, okay, I, I, that room over there, my mom's room, I made dark light, but there's a lot of songs I made in here and in the closet specifically. Like I recorded like Trees of the Valley in there. I recorded Light from the Car. I recorded like half the album in there and half the album in my mom's room. Damn. Yeah, that's crazy, bro. Yeah. Yo, yo, are you with my mom? Yes, man. Okay, put put her on the camera. I need to, I need to show her something. She so remember how this was my room? This is her son's room. Oh, she let you in. Yeah, we're inside. Nice. That's nice I mainly remember just starting to make music here. Like I said, in this room, right here. That's like what I'm like. That's all I'm thinking of right now. Yeah. So before I left, I wrote something around here to let people know that I lived here. And I know it was around here somewhere. It's right there. It says, it says, if you are reading this, this used to be my house, Dash Night Laveau. I guess no one like found it yet because he didn't even know where it was, so. My mom used to fucking hate these, bro. What does it say? Yeah, $2 for a wash, $2 for a dry. So she'd always keep her chains, like when she goes to like Tim Hortons or something. You don't gotta use that shit no more. I have the heebie-jeebies, bro. I need to get out of here. My first album, Concert Vague, was the catapult for getting kids in Europe to mess with my music. Russia especially. The shows there are fucked. Kids here are intense too, but it feels different when you're halfway across the world. It's like they're just listening to a beat. They don't speak English so they don't know the words, but they still understand it. That's really what I'm doing it for. For these kids to just come out and forget about everything for 45 minutes and just leave all their stress at the door. My music becomes a universal language. Oh yeah, this is this has to be like washing my car is like I wake up looking forward to this type of stuff. This is like I have like a personal connection to this car. So I feel like um I have to take care of her like I kind of take care of a person in my life, you know what I mean? This is like my prized possession. I'm not saying I don't want more though, but yeah. It's weird my music's always been in car videos. Like I don't really know how that started or why it did. And people usually think I'm the one that like makes those videos, but it's other people making them. And some of them like blow up too. But all that does is inspire me because I have a love for cards too. So like for my music to have that type of connection is just inspiring, I guess you could say. My, the name Night Lavelle came from me having that connection to the night. And the Lavelle came from my dad's middle name. And I chose Lavelle specifically because I wanted to have be named after my dad because he's like my biggest inspiration. So I just fused the two together. Like he, he used to make music. So I feel like I was doing what he was doing when he was my age type, type shit. So like, he's literally looking at me like, oh, this is just a younger me. Like he's just following what I did. So. When I'm making a song, I'll just pull up a beat and start writing to it. There's times where I don't force it too. If I feel like nothing's coming, I'll just stop. 
There'll be days where I'll go without writing, and then I'll have one night where I'll just do a whole bunch of shit. And I feel like it's better that way. It's like you're writing because you feel something and not just writing for the sake of it. If you aren't feeling anything, then what are you writing for? It's gotta be real. That's the whole point. It's not the same thing for me. Night Lavelle on stage and Night Lavelle off stage. They're just two completely different people. Shamar is me physically, and Night Lavelle is what's in my mind. He's not a real human being. He's just a myth.